Now, here I am. I just, I just, I just have said that you have to take women's dating advice from women from ATL, their dating advice with a grain of salt because ATL is not a real place. So this guy, he's from ATL, it looks like, um, and he's giving advice. Now, I would say really taking dating, dating advice from people from ATL, take it with a grain of salt. But this man right here, I will give him the exception because listening to him, what he's saying is something that men from, you know, from MGTOW, from all the RP creators, uh, comedians, they've been saying they've been saying this for a while. So uh, let's take a listen to what he says here. You see the caption. It says women only leave you when they know it's going to hurt you. And these are facts. You know, it's all about leverage. You know, the the le the leverage is what women usually the mental leverage is the game that women usually play on men. So let's listen to what he has to say here. Women leave you when they know it's going to hurt you. When you don't give a shit, they don't go anywhere. They don't leave the guy who plays games. The guy who got hella hoes, they don't leave that guy. The guy who's toxic, constantly lying, playing with her emotions, they stay for that guy. Deep down, women are repulsed by men who are madly in love with them. As soon as she can tell that you're in love with her, madly in love with her, as soon as she can tell that you would be lost without her, and if she left you, it was going to hurt you, that's when she leaves you. Women leave you. Now, I have said something similar, right? I've already, I've, ha I've, I've dropped the videos back in 2022 when I said women only respect men that can replace them. And I always say, look, look at, <laughs> look at what they call you. Look at what they call men that they don't like or agree with. They always call them a deadbeat, you know, who hurt you. And what else do they call them? Incels. Or they call, if you are, if you are a man that is older, like in his 20s or even 30s, and you're a virgin, or if you're just a man that doesn't even get women like that, they have zero respect for you. They have, I'm talking about they have zero respect with men that have no ex experience, sex sexual experience. Right. So much so they call people, they call men incels, which shows you the only what would be the opposite of an incel, a dude that regular regularly gets sex. So they only respect men that have options. This is this is what I've said. You know what I mean? So women can't even what, what he's saying. Women cannot even deny this at, at this point, because I always I'll, I'll, I'll always be catching them up. They'll be like, OK, so you've never called a man an incel as an insult correct they'd be like and you'll, you'll have women be like i don't even know what that is or what what do you, what what is incel that you speak of <laughs> you just be like nigga stop please <laughs> please we, we grown here but let's obviously dissect what he's saying one more time when they know it's gonna hurt you when so the leverage for and, and let's keep it a buck and i also said this it seems like the only dudes that women really be staying down and loyal to are the toxic you know borderline abusive or abusive guys take for example it seems like and, and i always say this it seems like the ike turner types be keeping their bitches longer than the regular dudes i don't know why that is it's always the ike turner types for some reason that can keep their bitch long term and ike turner had tina for for a, for a while for a while like a long, 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 long time, right? And people got to do their research behind the Ike Turner and Tina Turner relationship in general because it's not, it's not what, what they put in that movie, what's love got to do with it. It wasn't, they left out a lot of stuff. <laughs> they left out a lot of stuff. But the Ike Turner types, for some reason, they be keeping their broads a while. The pimps from back in the day seem to always have at least that one or two bottom bitches that were always loyal to them. You know what I mean? It's always those type of dudes. That seem to oh, the dudes that can replace their girl that gets the most respect or like women only women seem to only act correct. They seem to only listen to men that have options. When I brought up, remember the, the comedian Whitney Cummings, when she was talking about, oh, I finally get it. Women, she's like, men, men, only want, want, men don't want a woman that that men only want women that gives them peace. But. I was like, I'm pretty sure the athlete that she was fucking with, he wasn't the only one that said that. 
there's probably been plenty there. I'm like, you what age 30 something. You've been with, with plenty of dudes that probably told you you need to chill out. But you didn't listen because you thought you were hot. You thought you were higher than him. But she finally was messing with a dude that was clearly of higher value than her that could replace her just like that. And she even Whitney Cummings even admitted it in the in, in the in the interview that that like he could literally get whatever girl he wants. <laughs> she literally that was one of the first things she mentioned. She said he can get what, what, whatever girl he wants. And she said, oh, I finally get it. Men only want women that brings peace. But really, you people have said that to her. It's just that she 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 just felt like they that man the man the man that she was with before didn't deserve that luxury because she saw herself as higher than that man and they, those men that she was messing with she saw that they didn't have options like that it's only what a man with options says it that's when they take it to heart right if it was like say if it was a Henry Cavill type guy right or um Jason Mimosa he starts repeating our RP points that's the only time women are going to start listening. <laughs> because they just des they just think that the average man just does not deserve any of those things from that woman. They just believe that the average man doesn't deserve her her conditional submission, her condition her her conditional femininity. You don't give a shit. They don't go anywhere. They don't leave the guy who plays games. The guy who got hella hoes. They don't leave that guy. Trust me, and I know plenty plenty of dudes right now in that situation. They have I'm talking about. They have hoes. And their side chicks, even though they might, even though if their side chicks might fuck other guys from time to time, they are loyal to their number one guy, meaning their number one guy that they like to fuck, even though they're not together. There's always that one dude that if that guy says, okay, I want you to be my main, she'll literally drop everything and be with that guy. The guy who's toxic, constantly lying, playing with her emotions, they stay for that guy. Deep down, women are repulsed by men who are madly in love with them. As soon as she we did that video, right, where it, when I pointed out a woman complaining about being in a stable relationship, and the reason why she hated it is because she was being held accountable by not only just her man, but really society in general, because she was in a stable relationship, in a stable situation, to where now, okay, people are like, okay, you're in a stable situation. Now you need to put in do your part because now you have no excuses hmm. she can tell that you're in love with her madly in love with her as soon as she can tell that you will be lost without her and if she left you it was gonna hurt you that's when she leaves you women and that's unfortunately the dark side of female nature that he's talking about you know that's the dark that's the dark side when she knows it's gonna hurt you when she knows where you're like, okay, I'm going to drop all my hoes for that one. <laughs> you do that if you want to. Don't. That's one of the biggest mistakes that men do. If you don't ever drop all your hoes, because trust me, she's not dropping any of all, all the, the thousands of ninjas in her friend zone. She's not dropping her, uh, her options. I'm telling most women are being told by, have been told by their elders. You know, the, you know, the older women that, that, that men be talking about, why can't you be like the generation before? No, the generation of women before have advised the females of today to date non-exclusively what do you think they got that advice from they didn't get that from men they got it from the woman before them because women like to sabotage each other <laughs> that's what they do that's what they do <laughs> women have been advised from women of the past to date non-exclusively trust me trust me on that from, from their moms from their from their grandmas you know, the, the ones where you talk and, 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 you know, men that are not educated enough to know about this, they think, oh, man, the women of the past were so great. No, they just they just couldn't do what the women are allowed to do now. And if they had the opportunity to do it, they would do the same thing that these girls are doing today. You know, so this is just a guy right here, uh, G J Stanza. I guess he has a YouTube as well. So give him a follow. Uh, we'll see how his uh, YouTube pans out his uh, his Instagram his social media career pans out, but give him a follow, follow, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe on my channel as well. Let me know what you think in the comments.